Here's another one, and the good thing about this one is we have an A value, which is a negative. Now, if we look back at the rules on this thing, since it's negative, it's going to open downwards. Not that we really have to memorize that, because we are going to use the table to graph this thing anyways. So, <clears throat> let's make a table. And we always want to kind of use some pretty easy values. So I got g of x and x. I'll start with negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2, and just see what I get out of that. So when x is negative 2, then I got uh, negative 3 times 4. I am skipping some steps on this. Okay. So negative 3 times 4 is negative 12. That would give us this point, negative 2, negative 12. Now when x is negative 1, it really would be negative 3 times 1, which would be negative 3. So negative 1, negative 3 is about that point right there. When x is 0, then I got negative 3 times 0, which is 0. That is the point at the origin. When x is 1, then I've got negative 3 times 1, which is 3. I'm sorry, negative 3. So 1, negative 3. And we can see that already that it's starting to mirror itself. When x is 2, I've got negative 3 times 4, which is negative 12. So that would be this point right here. All right, I'm zoomed in on this thing just so I can draw the line, hopefully a little bit better. I like that. Okay. All right, now that we have that line graphed, let's go ahead and check out our vertex first. Our vertex is the very tip of this thing, which appears to be 0, 0. Again, we could use the formula for vertex, but we can see on the graph that that is the tip. Sometimes it won't always be that obvious, though. Okay, so just be careful on that. And the axis of symmetry is going to be the x value in the vertex. Sorry, this should be a colon, so it should be x equals that x value in the vertex, which is 0. So here's our vertex. Here's our axis of symmetry. This is the work for the graph, which we've shown right there.